Other big story tonight, bullets fly in a South City neighborhood, hitting one victim and grazing two others, including a small child. Tonight, we're learning new details about the crime. The violence we want to show you broke out yesterday along Virginia Avenue. This is in the Dutchtown neighborhood of South St. Louis. News 4's Emma Hogue spent the day talking to neighbors. She joins us live tonight from St. Louis Police Headquarters. Emma. Sam, right now we're still working to learn if police have a suspect in this case. One of the most shocking details is that we're learning that two year old was actually playing inside a bounce house when he was grazed. Tonight, neighbors say this gunfire is getting out of hand and with the weather only getting warmer, they worry the worst is yet to come. It's past sad that it's come to this because we're not valuing the life of children or adults. On a beautiful spring afternoon, Edna Kemp is second guessing letting her five year old granddaughter ride her scooter out front. Kemp's block near Virginia and Keokuk turned into a crime scene Saturday afternoon. There's a car in front of my house that had gunshot uh, or had bullet holes in it. Car uh, right next to my parking space that had uh, the window shot out, the front window shot out. News 4 was there following a triple shooting that happened in her Dutchtown neighborhood. Investigators say a two year old boy and a 23 year old woman were grazed by bullets while playing inside a bounce house. Police say a 17 year old was shot in the leg, arm and stomach walking down the street. I'm never thinking that somebody is going to be shooting while we're outside playing and I never in a thousand years would be able to explain that to another mother. Neighbors say a group was hosting a party in the middle of the street. One man says he called police to complain twice. He says officers arrived then left around five. Another neighbor says he heard at least 12 gunshots. He came outside to find dozens of officers and crime tape stretching down the block. In a heated argument, the bullets fly. We don't know who they hit. I'm sure that they didn't mean to hit that child yesterday. But tonight, Kemp says she's not taking any chances. She and her granddaughter will spend most of spring and summer playing in the backyard. I don't want her to be a victim. So I reached out to police for an update on all three of those victims conditions and of course an update to see if they have a suspect in custody right now. I am still waiting to hear back, but if you have any information on this crime, you're asked to call them. We have their number posted right now on our news app reporting live downtown tonight. Emma Hogue News 4.